Yo, what's up guys? Just got done filming that, uh, the review portion of the Kawasaki Mule. And now we are in it, driving back to camp uh, through the trails, at least one of them. And uh, we're kind of going to show you how it is driving this thing. Okay, so places like this, real, uh, real close in between trees. So, you know, it, it is what it is. It's a little bit of a bigger unit, giggity, than uh, like a three-wheeler or a four-wheeler even. Obviously being a side-by-side, -side, um, you guys miss it. There's a little chipmunk or something that just scurried about over there. Um, but we got some trails cut and uh, they usually stay pretty good. They don't get too overgrown because uh, we're always driving on them. Somebody's always up here at some point in time having a blast. Pun intended, quite literally, most of the time we are shooting off our guns because this is America. America! Coming to save the motherfucking day! Ah! So, absolutely beautiful property. Look at this big, big, bad mamma jamma right there. There were some porcupines and stuff living in there a few years back. Um, here's a nice real open area. Got one of my blinds there as well, so that's pretty sweet. Um, loving it, loving it, absolutely love the forest. Can't beat it. But yeah, this thing gets up. Um, you obviously don't want to be racing through the forest um, with a bunch of trees like this. There's down, down there is the marsh, okay? If you guys could see that through the trees. They're, uh, I don't know why it looks so much further away on camera. It's regular one-time magnification. I could zoom in a little bit, but then it gets, you know, not as clear as far as the picture goes. But yeah, there's a marsh down there. Um, we've also got an actual pond on our property. Uh, that marsh, I believe, down there at the end of the gully uh, was also once upon a time a pond, but then kind of got overgrown and, uh, and it is what it is. But the deer love going down there, get a little bit of water. There's some berries that grow. Um, they bed down over there, you know, so it's it's definitely where I have my blind set up that I showed you guys uh, It's a perfect spot because they're always crossing back and forth to get to the water to get to the berries To uh, bed down at night so early in the morning and then you know right before they're going to bed we can find them so We have My amazing beautiful mother. Hello mom say hello to YouTube. Okay, that's my mom saying hi to YouTube and uh, we're driving. So down there is the camp area. Here is uh, get out here on the uh, the open road and see what she's capable of. So we're still we're still in low. Okay. So let's see uh, let's see how much we could punch it. So this doesn't have a speedometer on it. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you exactly how fast we're going. I mean, maybe 20, 25 miles an hour. But it's got some giddy up. And, uh, you know, obviously it's more of a, a utility vehicle. This is not a razor. This is for, you know, driving around on the farm or the property, hauling deer back, throwing all your guns in the truck and uh, going down to the pond to do some shooting. Let's see if we could put her in uh, put her in high and see if she's got any more uh, pep in her step. definitely some more capability as far as flat road is concerned in high um, 
Let's see if we can't cruise up this uh, this little dune here without getting stuck. Yeah, I think we're gonna be able to do it. Proving some of the off-road capabilities. Oh, I got, I'm all out of frame and stuff here. Terrible, terrible camera work. I need to hire somebody to do my camera work. I keep telling Scales to do it for me, but he keeps asking for a paycheck, and I'm like, who do you think I am, somebody famous? And then in the next two minutes, I'm like, hey, dude, did you know I'm famous on YouTube? Um, but yeah, just some jokes. Just some jokes, but I could use a cameraman or at least, or a camera woman. I, you know, I don't discriminate, it is what it is. Um, but I cannot pay you. I will not pay you, and I'm keeping all the AdSense. <laughs> so here we go, here's another, uh... I love the trees, man. Absolutely love the trees. Gotta love it. trails we got some more stuff and this is all all monopoly all family we own the forest basically we've uh, the only neighbors we have are each other and uh, that's awesome you know we've all got our own little plots of land and we all use it together communally uh, because we are all family and we all own property up here literally right next to each other um, and obviously the property lines are, they go back and forth and zigzag and it's not always a straight line. Um, but we've got, we've got quite a bit of property up here to play around with. So right now we are um, on part of my uncle's property. And uh, that's what you guys saw back there, the couple of, couple of trailers and the deck. Oh look, there's a black squirrel. Oh, uh, you don't see those very often. Those things are kind of rare. I don't know if you guys caught it. I don't know if I caught it on uh, on camera. I almost ran into this tree here. Um, don't tell my dad. But a black squirrel. Oh, there he is. He's over there. I don't know if you guys could see that. The zoom on this. There's a there's a tree stand too right there. If you guys could see right here, the tree stand up there. So uh, drinking beers and shooting deers. I tell you what. Not necessarily at the same time, DNR. But this is America, and this is our property. Um, but no, don't ever, don't ever drink and shoot guns, people. It's bad, okay? It's bad. Drugs are bad, okay? And then, uh, here we're pulling up on a little portion of the range that, uh, my uncle and nephew, or not nephews, but cousins have set up. Now, uh, we were here shooting earlier, and I will be back here shooting in a little bit again filming some videos on a couple different guns but got some AR 500 set up a couple couple little gongs here okay AR 500 they've got the uh, the rubber rubber little strips on them and uh, you know set up two by fours whatever and uh, rifle rated obviously you don't want to be shooting them with rifles up close and uh, this ain't no Hickok 45 setup or nothing, but obviously there's a perfectly good backstop, perfectly safe berm, and uh, you know you're shooting down, and then you got a hill on top of it, and it's just pretty sweet, you know, hearing that steel ring. I've got my own range set up on my own property. I'll show you guys that in a different video if I get to it. Um, this is actually the last day we're going to be up here, and before we're heading home, got a lot of stuff to do. But I don't have any steel set up at the moment. They just leave their stuff up, so I'm going to come here and and shoot it, a couple little videos, Wilson Combat, a couple little 22s, whatever, 
and uh, that'll be that. But just wanted to show you guys, you know, what's going on, kind of how this thing drives and what it looks like when you are driving in it. Um, super sweet, super sweet, very well handling machine, uh, good power, definitely some good power to it. And uh, it's way harder to back up and reverse and not hit a tree one-handed while you're also trying to look through the viewfinder. While at the same time, trying to carry on a conversation with the camera to my tens of viewers that probably won't even watch this. But that is the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. All that stuff helps me out a ton. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys have some property. If you, if you love the outdoors as much as I do, hunting, fishing, camping, shooting, living the old American dream, baby. Running around in a heavy-duty machine, baby. And uh, leave it in the comments below, guys. I love you. I'll see you later. Peace!